This method can help answer key questions in environmental protection, such as awareness of antibiotics in the aquatic environment. The main advantage of this technique is that it can detect pharmaceutical pollutants at very low concentrations and identify them simultaneously. Even though this method can provide insight into pharmaceuticals in wastewater, effluents and river waters, it can also be applied to other systems such as pesticides or hormone-like substances in the aquatic environment. To begin this procedure, collect approximately one liter of water to prepare the samples. Filter the sample over a blue band filter to remove coarse particles. Next, add three milliliters of methanol to the solid phase extraction cartridge to begin equilibrating it. Wait for the methanol to leave the cartridge and then add three milliliters of ultra pure water. After the water has left the cartridge, apply the filtrate and use a diaphragm pump or other moderate vacuum to increase the flow velocity. The pre-concentration is very important. Make sure to use a solid phase extraction cartridge with the right solid phase. Wash the sample with 3 milliliters of ultra pure water. Then use 3 milliliters of ethanol to elute the analytes from the cartridge sorbate. Using a rotary evaporator, concentrate and dry the eluted analytes. Dissolve the resulting residue in 1 milliliter of ultra pure water. After this, filter the solution through a syringe filter. Store them in a vial until ready to perform non-targeted analysis by HPLC ESI QTOF MS. To begin the UV irradiation experiments, dissolve the antibiotic compound.